Hello there, this is Ellie from SafeNet House Technical Support. In this session I'm going to talk about the envelope and how we are going to use it in order to uh, protect uh, .NET applications. So here I have a .NET application, a very simple one, uh, just uh, one button which when you press on it you get uh, information from a file one.txt that resides beside him. A very simple one and I would like to protect it. Now I open the envelope which is part of the vendor suite and just uh, add this application. I can drag it into uh, the application, the envelope and then here I can see the details. Uh, I will choose uh, to uh, use the very same input file to the output one. Just I will change the name of the protected uh, application into protected dot uh, and then uh, underscore the name the original name now uh, the feature I did the default one is the zero now I will choose another number let's see first which are the license uh, features that I have uh, currently on this machine I see that uh, in the admin control center uh, I have feature number zero of course this is the default one that resides on every key but I also have a feature number two and feature number eleven so I, I might use them so let's uh, get back uh, to the envelope uh, I can choose feature number two here so this means that uh, feature number two is the, f the first feature that the envelope uh, application will look for uh, while the application launches. This is the main one that is going to be used and if it does not exist then uh, the application will not start. Uh, over here I have a list of all the classes and methods that I have in this uh, application. I have uh, some of them are checked. Now uh, there is kind of default um, that the envelope uh, provides me uh, according to some uh, balance between security and performance and uh, it checks automatically some of them. I can see that the main and the button click, uh, I know this application, I wrote it so it's easy for me to see whether uh, the methods that I want to protect are protected. Now if it, mark, if it is marked as protected uh, I, I, if I click on it, for instance this one, this uh, method is going to be called once I click on the button. So this one is important for me to, uh, uh, to protect on it. And I can see on the right side what are the specifications for this method. Now I can use here uh, the global feature ID, the global is the one that I ch have chosen here, but I for instance can use it a number, another number here, for instance I will write number 11 which means not only feature 2 is going to be uh, checked when the la uh, when the application is launched but also uh, feature number number 11 is going to be tested verified uh, once I click on the button and this method is called I can choose whether this uh, feature number 11 will be uh, verified only once per program per program or maybe Every time, every time I click on this button and uh, the method is called, then feature number 11 will be checked. And there are some uh, definitions uh, which, which relates to security if I want obfuscation of the symbol uh, disabled or enabled or global definitions. And I can also uh, obfuscate my code encrypt my code to get uh, better uh, security. Uh, once it is quite uh, obvious that the more security I add I um, sometimes have to uh, have some kind of uh, uh, trade-off using less uh, performance. So I think this is okay with me. I will uh, choose to protect it. Uh, this is okay. I will also maybe uh, save the project uh, on the very same same place where I where I choose it, I will call it some some name. I don't know, maybe my name, and we'll save it. Okay, so for now I think it's uh, it's ready. Um, let's 
close it uh, and now if you can see uh, we have uh, the protected application and in addition to it I also have two files that uh, must be here they are part of the enveloped application and they must reside uh, next to the executable uh, let's first start check if it's working but maybe before that I would like to go to uh, the admin control center to the access log uh, we have an access log here and I will uh, maybe clear the display so I can uh, better see what is the activity done once I click it so let's go I click on the envelope application since it's demo MA I get this info, this uh, error this warning which will not appear of course if you choose your own uh, batch code and then the application uh, launched uh, when I click on it it shows me uh, the content of uh, 1.exe so it seems to be okay let's see on the admin control center what was the activity I can see that feature uh, number 2 was called over here uh, there is login and feature number 2 uh, and also I can see login over here to feature uh, number 11 so it seems to be working fine thank you for watching